Hi everyone, Eric Layton here. I wanted to put together a video using Amazon and links that will be in the video description. I uh, wanted to show where all of the components came from or what components I recommend or what I was using. So this will just be a very quick video uh, using Amazon. Just wanted to show you some of the things from my uh, do-it-yourself solar energy book uh, that I've put together. Uh, basically I have some pictures in here, shows the different components, uh, what I did, uh, things like that. Um, I usually recommend using a 100 watt panel. So on Amazon you can just search 100 watt panel and you'll see you have a lot of different choices. You've got the Amazon choice, you've got some of these cheap panels here. Uh, what I used in my uh, setup was a combination of a company called Grape Solar and uh, uh, Mississippi Wind and Solar Company I believe it was called. Uh, and so when you Google or um, Google or, or actually just search on Amazon here 100 watt solar panel you should be paying between a dollar and a dollar ten a watt on average on Amazon and you want to look for something with free shipping I think this panel right here free shipping it's got great reviews versus this panel which is pretty much the exact same thing this one's a little wider this one's a little thinner depends on your setup of course this is Amazon Prime so you get that in two days uh, this one's a little bit cheaper too so you can you got your choice of this one. Actually, this one might be uh, pretty good because it's 10570 Prime and it's got great reviews there. So you can actually see. So, you know, I opened up one of them, this uh, HQST, which was this first panel. This is perfectly fine. But honestly, after looking at it, I'm going to go with this one because, you know, it's, you want to make sure it has the MC4 connectors. I think that's important. What the MC4 connectors are, are the connectors that are in the back of the solar panel. You're positive and negative, and it's how you hook your solar panel together. So just make sure it includes that you'll see that all of these are either tied off they usually put a twisty tie on it when they when they ship it but uh, you'll notice and then uh, uh, you'll notice that a lot of them do have it you want to make sure that maybe it's a uh, UL uh, um, UL uh, rated. Um, I actually have bought this panel before. A couple of these in my DIY solar setup are actually Windy Nation as you can see the price went up a little bit honestly just get something cheap here. They're, they're, a lot of these are private labeled panels or these could be like the exact same panel with just with a different name. So you can do your research. Uh, stay away from the flexible ones because those are super expensive. As you can see it kind of throws the economics off of your system when you're paying a hundred and fifty plus. You really want to be playing a dollar to a dollar ten a watt is really the general price. If you find anything below, definitely get that. Always look to see free shipping because sometimes what they'll do is they'll charge twenty to forty dollars shipping sometimes because it is a bulk shipping. It's it's a pretty big piece to uh, ship. Um, this is the panel that, uh, two of them actually from Grape Solar that I detail in my book and you can see it's a hundred watt solar panel but it's actually uh, two of them uh, together. Uh, so in, in all honesty it goes about dollar twenty a watt. Yeah, two hundred and forty dollars and free shipping. So dollar twenty watt, that's okay. Uh, this isn't the best. It looks like they did go up in uh, in price here. But you, again, you can find you know cheaper alternatives. Uh, and this was a, actually a pretty good pretty good panel, and it has uh, pretty good reviews there. So you know, feel free to look at that. Okay. Uh, the next thing is um, if your panel doesn't come with MC4 connectors, you should have MC4 connectors with it. Um, basically, you, you want to kind of avoid it, um, having to buy the tooling. Uh, this is for if you have certain runs, you know, maybe your battery bank is 50 feet away or something like that, or you, did, you didn't design the, the rows correctly and there's a big separation so that the when, when you buy the panel, uh, basically the MC4 connector isn't long enough for instance because that is pretty short I mean it's barely long enough to get to the next panel so if you do have to buy things um, they're actually pretty good on Amazon. These are the connectors here. Uh, you want male and female uh, definitely, but you do need to get the crimper tool. This is what it looks like is you have this little crimper right here or the crimper is here uh, and then you have the um, this metal piece right here that you put in and you use the crimper to crunch it um, around the wiring. So here's like a big set. You would use this on like a solar install and that's perfectly fine. You can also find, you know, other you know other different um, and then that's that's okay too um, but you can find different deals in that but gen in general you should uh, if you can just design it so you don't necessarily need to do that 
um, you know, you design all the rows next to each other. You may have to design this eventually, a few of them to connect the different rows, different series uh, lengths of the panels that you have. Uh, the other thing that you'll need is a solar charge controller. And in my book, I do talk about the midnight solar uh, charge controller. I have bought very cheap ones before. As you can see on the right side, I just searched midnight solar charge controller just to show you. Mine is this one, actually. Um, and you want to make sure it has something called MPPT, which is multi PowerPoint tracking. Uh, and that's very important. Um, what that does is that um, uh, if say part of your solar array is not providing maximum output or you have different uh, parallel arrays and a cloud go over, goes over part of it, you know, the pr power production could be a little bit different. What the MPPT does is it takes that into account and charges the batteries correctly, uh, maintains a certain charge. So you can look into that but I definitely recommend it. I bought these cheap ones before. Um, actually we have this one is the first one that I ever bought was the Morningstar and it works perfectly fine. I just need a larger one uh, and definitely recommend Midnight Solar. You can search uh, other places for that but again this is a good place to search for it. Uh, next next thing is a uh, deep cycle battery. I uh, don't usually recommend going on Amazon however you can see there are some um, you know free shipping. It does change it uh, a little bit. Um, you can look for 12 volt, 100 amp hour to 220 amp hour. This is a really small battery, so I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend something that's uh, probably 100 amp hours or more. Some of my batteries are 220 amp hours, 220 amp hours, but they're all 12 volts. So you can kind of get an idea. I would recommend paying anywhere from 140 to 180 kind of is the range for a a 150 amp hour battery so it's a little pricey here on Amazon of course but you know you can if you search hard enough look for coupon codes you might find a good deal here on Amazon if you're trying to use up Amazon points for instance which I have in the past uh, you can definitely look at some of the batteries here the next thing is the solar combiner box. Uh, that's where you combined uh, all of the wiring uh, from your different um, uh, solar panel strings. And this is the one that I have. I think I found this one a little bit cheaper. This is the uh, um, Midnight Solar brand, and it's became Amazon Choice. So I guess it's selling pretty well. It's Prime. It's got some good reviews. You don't necessarily have to use that. It's uh, pretty easy to use. Um, basically, you just pop those out, and you can put the switches for your different strings of panels. You know, you got a row of five, row of six, row of five, you know, and so, so forth. And you can turn them on and off and combine them. So it's 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 nice to have, especially when you're combining it with a wind turbine. As you can see, there's a lot of other different combiner boxes. Um, so this one this one's smaller. Uh, the smaller version of the Midnight Solar. This is six position. This is three position. So this is twice as large. Um, not much of a price difference, 118 versus 93. So uh, you can, and, and and I've seen people actually just buy junction boxes or J boxes from Lowe's or Home Depot and try to wire it themselves. So you can definitely do that, uh, do that yourself. So again, um, going from the the, uh, the panels uh, all the way to um, what I bought to the uh, MC4 connectors to the midnight solar charge controllers, to kind of get an idea. Uh, you can search around for the batteries as well and the J box or combiner box so that gives you a good idea and again all of this is outlined in uh, my Kindle or uh, paperback do-it-yourself um, book um, so feel free to take a look at that and you'll find a, a lot more uh, information in that and again uh, thank you very much for watching